Hey there, it's your girl Cos, and today we are going to try Simi Art watercolor sets. I hope you enjoy. Whee! Today's video is a little different from the previous uploads that I did before. These came in the mail today, and I'm so excited to try them out. So here you will see me struggle to open the packaging. <laughs> Let's speed that up. So this is obviously not a watercolor set, but it is included in the stuff that I ordered, so I want to include it in this video as well. I love the quality of the cover of this watercolor pad. The pages are thick and it could lay flat like this. So that's quite nice. So yep, these are indeed thick boys. I believe that this type of paper can handle watercolor techniques that require a lot of water. So far I like this but we'll give it a try later on. So on to the watercolor sets. I got two sets of 12 from Simi Art. This one is in the variation candy. It has bright colors. Quite nice. This one is called Morandi and I reckon that it's named after Giorgio Morandi who was an Italian painter and printmaker who specialized in still lifes. You can easily add or remove colors from this tin container like so. Let me just put this back. Okay, so this part of the container is also removable. I guess it makes it easier to clean. Okay, let's put that back. And then you can use this for mixing stuff or just simply as a cover. I bought two sets so that I could mix and match. For instance, uh, this lacks vibrant color so I could just replace one of them with a different color from this other set. So without further ado, we're going to try this set out. Please excuse the dog barking in the background, I can't get her to stop. So this is also a new watercolor brush, but um, I seem to be having some issues with it. It's not dispensing water like it should. I did finally got it to work, but it took a while. It's hard work. Now you can see me aggressively trying to make a swatch. This color looks light but it's actually quite a pretty shade. Let's try that again and see if we can get it to be darker. Nope, it's... this is it. Okay, so this is a pretty shade of pink. And it shows up better on the camera than the first color. I shall now proceed to aggressively swatching this blue. Okay. This is pretty. Also, I realized that the brush looks like cotton candy. On to the next shade. Oop. It's hard to do this with one hand. Believe it or not, I don't have a proper setup yet. So this is actually quite difficult. So, that's another purple. A little darker than the first one. And this... Is in a shade of green. This may look similar in the pan, but this one actually looks much lighter than the other one. At this point, I'm actually struggling with the water brush because it's not dispensing enough water for the colors to activate. Now, you will also see me struggle with the paper. Oh, this showed up pretty quickly. Very nice. So let's try this next shade. If you're looking for an in-depth review of stuff, this is definitely not the video. But I hope you're enjoying this watch and my side commentaries. So let's go back to aggressively dabbing the color on its pan. Swipe. Nice. Okay, so this is a nice shade of brown. Kinda has a lot of red in it. <laughs> so I'm really trying to get in there. Because again, the brush is getting a little on the dry side. It's not dispensing enough water for the pan to activate. But this is looking pretty nice. <laughs> so you can see me trying to get more water in there. It just won't. Oop, 
it is at this point that I realize that I can no longer do this with one hand. This beautiful shade of grey will help me add dimensions to my watercolor paintings. I like it. <laughs> so, the struggle with water continues. So you can see the brushes clumping together. But hey, that's a very opaque swatch right there. I'm almost done with the swatch. Tap, 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 three times a day. Okay, so this is what the swatch looks like up close. And this is the one for the candy set. Of course, you can't tell the performance by just the swatches. So we're gonna do a quick art with these watercolor sets. So I'm thinking of drawing a little bird, something simple. So this is something that will help us see the blendability and quality of the watercolors. So as you can see, this is a very wet technique. And I can say with confidence that the paper is holding up quite nicely. Love it. This is my favorite combination, some blue, some purple and a bit of pop of color there i'm thinking of a bird holding a flower with its beak oop hey that's not other i'll just deal with it that's not very nice so like i mentioned before i don't actually have a proper setup so recording this is quite difficult. I hope the quality is okay. I'm just adding some petals here and there until I'm satisfied with how it looks like. At this point, the yellow has bled into the watercolor brush, but it's okay. I cleaned it. Now we're adding stem and the leaves one thing i want to say about these watercolor set is that um they're quite thirsty they require a lot of water for it to move around and show up although i said that the back was quite opaque the other colors are not showing up quite as well but they're still good. These are just the type of watercolor sets that you can build up. So you can definitely do some layering. At some point, I gave up trying to record the painting process. But here's another artwork that I've done with it. All in all, I am very happy with my purchase. It just needs a little bit of um, getting used to. That's it for me today. See you on the next video. Bye.